What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about crypto mining, but not from the perspective of a full-time crypto miner that's going to have multiple rigs in their garage, sounding like a 737 that's constantly taken off. No, this is going to be from the perspective of a gamer. Now, why would a gamer care about mining crypto? Well, for one, you probably have hardware that is capable of doing it, especially if you're able to play the latest AAA titles with max settings. And there's going to be at least eight hours a day that you aren't on your computer gaming because you got to sleep sometimes. So even if you're the most hardcore gamer, there's eight hours a day that your gaming PC is not in use. So it might as well make you some money while you're sleeping uh, because it's a pretty valuable asset. You know, a gaming PC, even an entry level one, usually cost about $1,000. If you're playing the latest AAA titles, you probably paid two or three grand for your computer. So you might as well utilize that asset to make you some money. And another reason is because, as I'm sure you've realized, the latest graphics cards are all either, and not just the latest ones, but also like last year's and uh, the year before that, they tend to either be out of stock or you have to pay a really inflated price to scalpers in order for you to get your hands on one. And part of the reason for this is that there's several ASIC resistant cryptocurrencies that have become really popular that we're going to talk about. Uh, and obviously crypto in general has become really popular since the bull run began uh, late last year. And it's pretty much going to be like this for a while. You have to accept that the graphics card market has become a lot like the Jordan or the Yeezy market. When a new card drops, it's gonna be sold out. So that's how it's gonna work. It's important to know how it works so you can actually navigate this market. Um, you know, you'll probably have to get it secondhand at a markup, just like with those shoes. So since new GPUs are becoming basically a luxury item with the price tag to boot, it wouldn't hurt to have some extra cash in your hands to buy them. Now, what are some of the best coins for you to mine on your gaming rig? It's really going to depend on a lot of factors. Things like your average hash rate that you can get for your specific graphics card, for um, the mining algorithm of whatever crypto that you are going to mine. So there's a lot of factors involved. The market price of the coins matter. The current block reward for your crypto matters. So you got to do some testing uh, sort of on your own. But there's a handful of coins that tend to at least be profitable. Um, and one that's really easy to mine and has been around for years is Vertcoin, which has recently hardened their crypto against ASICs. So in order to mine this, you'll want a strong GPU, which gamers should have. Now, daily profitability for this coin is pretty low right now, but the price is trending upwards. So you might be able to potentially hold it and make a lot more later. But the cool thing about Vertcoin is that it is one of the simplest coins to mine. All you need to do to get started is head, and, head on over to this GitHub page, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, to grab one of the releases. Uh, so you can download this for either Linux or for Windows. Obviously, Mac users aren't gamers. Um, I'm going to be showing this on Linux, but the idea is going to be the same on Windows as well. So download that zip file. And then when you unzip it into a folder, you're going to get this. So you've got the Vertcoin OCM binary. Uh, go ahead and run that. Um, and this will take a little while when you first install it because it has to uh, verify the hash and download the block and everything. And another thing that it's going to do is it's going to uh, have you set up a password for your wallet and, and it's going to generate a wallet automatically for you, but you don't need to include an email. Um, you don't need like a username, anything like that. So just generate the wallet with a password and then you can hit the button to start mining. Uh, and I should actually stop mining because it's going to make my PC lag a little bit. Oh, and this is where you can copy your wallet address, by the way, uh, if you're curious about that. And uh, so once once you've started mining, mining, you can then send your coins off to either an offline wallet. So this tab here for send coins, just put in the receiver address and it's gonna send it off. Um, or you can 
put it into an exchange wallet if you want to sell it right away. Now, since this is a bit more of an obscure coin, like, you know, it's not Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Ethereum, uh, you can't sell it. Like, I don't think Binance has it listed. I know that Coinbase doesn't have it listed. So you might want to use um, something like South Exchange where you can swap it for Dash. So like this is the uh, vert to Dash um, ticker that's on their site. And Dash is a pretty widely accepted coin. Um, pretty much every exchange accepts that. So you would wanna swap out your vert coin for Dash and then you can swap out your Dash for uh, fiat if you want to do so. Now, as you saw, my hash rate was about 245 kilohash a second which has a profitability of five cents per day. So that's, and that's also, you know, factoring in electricity costs and everything like that. Um, but as you saw, it's extremely easy, even though it's not a whole lot of money that it's generating for me. Also, you have to keep in mind that I have a 970. So if you're a PC gamer, there's a good chance that your card is more powerful than mine. Uh, that's why I took the liberty of plugging in these values into the Vertcoin mining calculator. And uh, coinwars.com is a very useful tool for trying to figure out the profitability uh, of mining once you know what your hash rate is for your CPU and for the specific coin. Uh, so this is what most users that have a 3070 are reporting, 1.25 mega hash a second, which sounds about right. It's five times as strong as a 970. And then the power consumption in watts. So this also sounds about right for a single uh, 970 that doesn't have like a crazy CPU with it. Um, so then electricity cost in kilowatt hours. This is what I pay. Uh, you got to figure out what yours is for... Uh, your power company, it might be less, might be more. And you can see with all this, you can make $2.15 per day uh, if you were running it 24 hours mining Vertcoin. But this is obviously enough where, you know, let's say that you're gonna do it for 12 hours a day. This is enough where after two months, you could then afford a new video game, right? Usually new games, they go for 60 bucks. So it's, it's a noticeable amount of money, right? Getting a new game every two months is pretty good if you're a PC gamer or any type of gamer, really. And all you have to do to get it is just run a program, click a button, and then go to bed or go outside or go do whatever it is you do when you're not... Uh, gaming on your computer or using the computer in general. Now, in terms of what would be the most profitable, maybe you're willing to put in a little bit of extra effort and you want to uh, make some more money from your gaming rig. The most profitable coin is going to shift a bit depending on you know many factors, right? The changes that are made to coins and whatnot. But generally, Ethereum is going to make you the most amount of money. So we can see on this site, CryptoCalc.com, which lists the uh, relative profitability for many, many different graphics cards. Pretty much all the newer ones are rated top for Ethereum. So 3090, 3080, pretty much the whole 30 series, um, you're gonna be best off with Ethereum. The newer uh, AMD cards are generally best with Ethereum too. Now, if we look at older cards, it starts to switch up. So these are like the lower spec 10 series and the older AMD cards. Ravencoin is actually the most profitable for uh, these cards. So again, it all depends on what you have in your rig. We can also see scrolling through the list that uh, Zcoin shows up for certain cards and A Eternity also shows up for other cards as being the most profitable. Um, you can also go, this is their uh, main page where you can figure out um, what's going to be, um, return to home page, where, where you can figure out what's going to be the most profitable. So we can see with like a 2080, for example, A Eternity is going to be the best, and then that's gonna be followed by Z Coin and Cortex. Now, what's really important is that all of this data for you know, what uh, the different GPUs can do is based off of data collected by two CryptoCalc. You want to really plug, when, when you're using calculators, you want to use something where it goes off of the hash rate, right? Because 
the data that they have for the hash rates on their cards might be different for the specific hash rate that you're getting in your rig. So whattomine.com, that's another tool that you can use to calculate your hash rates um, for different cards. Now, or for different coins rather. Um, now, another thing to keep in mind about these uh, coins like A Eternity, uh, Z Coin, Cortex, Raven Coin, these are all pretty obscure, right? These are some cryptos where, like, if you're not into crypto, you probably haven't even heard of these. So, because they're really obscure and because they have really small market caps, their prices are much more volatile, meaning that they could go down a lot or they could go up a whole lot. Um, possibly go, I would lean a little bit more towards going up a lot for certain ones like Ravencoin, but we're not going to get into, you know, shilling different coins right now. So these might be things that you'd also want to hold because their markets uh, and aren't as stable as something like Ethereum. Uh, also, they're not going to be listed on as many exchanges, right? Like I don't think any of these are on, well, besides Ethereum, I don't think any of these are on Coinbase. Um, I don't think a lot of them are on Binance. So again, you're probably going to have to go to uh, some other like crypto only exchange and then swap it for a different type of cryptocurrency. And then you can swap that crypto uh, for fiat at some place like Coinbase. So there you go. Some coin suggestions to mine uh, and also some tools that you can use to calculate your hash rate and your profitability. If you're diligent about mining and you take the time to, well, time the market right, and also if you get lucky enough to time the market right to sell at the top, you can easily make a few hundred bucks, a few hundred extra bucks, um, you know, more than enough to be able to buy a scalped GPU or even enough to pre-order the next series of GPUs when they come out so that you can guarantee that you'll have one. Otherwise, I guess you'll just have to settle for emulators or games that don't require the latest hardware to play, which can be pretty fun too. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.